how to use a coil fin straightening tool and why do you need a coil fin straightening tool. I hardly have to use this, but today I've got a very good example of why you may need this And as an HVAC technician. I hope you're ready to learn something. Click the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell before you start. Definitely leave me a comment if you have a question. If you don't have a question, tell me who you are, where you're from. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's talk about the fin straightener. It's hard to blow water through the coil when the fins are smashed. Straighten the fins back out, and then you're able to clean the unit better. So you can see how the condenser coil has some fins that are smashed. And I've cleaned this unit twice already, and my head pressure is 400. Now this is 410A. Typically on a day like today, we would have 350 for the head pressure, and maybe about 125 but we cannot get the head pressure down. And I guarantee you it's because not only do we have fins that are bent on the inside, but we have fins that are bent on the outside. So I wanted you to see what the pressure was before I take this straightener and straighten these fins. And I want you to see if it makes a difference, okay? So our vapor temperature is 83 and our suction is 125, 30, 140. Looks like 140. No, 135 and then 400 all right now we're gonna take the top off take all the panels off and start straightening first thing we do yep. pull the disconnect all right go ahead and take the screws off around the side here let's go There we go. Almost got all the screws off that top panel there. Are we loose now? Yep. Perfect. All right, so now you can see, it looks like the weed eater's been getting this thing or something. I know there's a lot of grass that has been blown in here, but I'm gonna try to straighten all this up. And then on the inside, during the winter ice could have formed on this maybe and that's what the reason is behind the coil at the very top fan blade hitting the ice or something i wouldn't think so but then again i mean this is a heat pump so it definitely runs during the winter and then look all the way around this i mean it looks like the weed eater got it all right let's uh get the fin straightener okay so make sure that you have gloves on your hands that way you don't get your hands cut by this aluminum here on the tool itself there are four selections depending on your fin spacing 8 10 12 14 uh, take it and hold it up against the coil and then move through the selections and figure out which one is going to meet the needs meaning which one's going to work you can tell the eight's definitely not going to work it's more like a 14 on this one or a 12 so I'm going to use the 12 and you can see this where this is bent right okay now take the, take a look at this once we get it in there we just pull it down you see that how that's straight now let's go right beside it see that and you can see that it looks like we need the 14 actually all right so choose the 14 come up here above where it's bent and you can see we're straightening that right out now you can do it from the bottom or the top doesn't matter just get make it don't don't try to do it right, right where it's bent you're not going to be able to get the fin straightener in there okay don't do it where it's bent do it above or below okay now let's go over here you see where that's bent, right? Okay, I come up above it, and then, see that? Pretty easy. And once we get done, we're gonna turn the unit back on. See if our head pressure drops, because obviously the coil being clean that's, we know that's not helping. All right. 
Oh, that's still smashed. Oh, see down here, I'm not able to, I might have to flip it upside down. Coming up here, see how this is smashed here? Let's take and straighten this out. All right. Oh, all right. See that? See that? That's perfect now. Not perfect, but it's, it's better. But easy to use tool, man. You can pick one of these up pretty cheap. Link in the description if you want one of these fin straighteners. I have to raise the coil up at the bottom. Maybe I can get get this right here straightened out. See that at the very bottom? Oh, man. Oh, all right, that's a lot better. All right, you can see how smashed this is. Take the fin straightener. You can see someone has blowed the grass in here. PSA. Don't blow your grass in your air conditioner. This is not something that technicians like to do. Oh. If you don't do this right, it will just bend them worse. So. I think I can get water through here now. Whoops, got in a hurry. Straighten it back out. All right. so much better isn't it all right and yeah we should be able to clean it better now if you use this tool to straighten the fins on the coil then you may be able to better clean the coil because you cannot blow water through the coil in, if the fins are smashed all right we're going to do a little upside down with the fin straightener here we got it set to the 14 still and that just means the fin spacing there's 14 fins right here all right now let's do it again here we go all right see how bent it is and how smashed come over here now you can see in that little bitty area there now you see how straight it is and then coming right beside it it doesn't take long You can bend these fins out pretty quickly. All right, over here in this area. All right, look at this area now, nice and straight. Now come over here to this area. Look how bent it is. Now we're ready to put the panels back on, fire it back up and see what that head pressure is. I went ahead and sprayed the coil out again now that I can actually spray through parts of the coil that I could not spray through before. And you can see a big difference if you want to rewind the video and take a look. These fins were bent on the inside, very top, and then around the very bottom. That's going to help out a lot. All right, got the last screw put in. It's on, it's been running. Let's check out the head pressure 325 330 335 so 335 and 120 wow that dramatically decreased our head pressure quite a bit so we're gonna let it run for a little bit and make sure that it's working properly hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you learned something let me know in the comments what you learned if you learned anything if you don't have a question that's okay let me know who you are and where you're from you've been watching hvac tips for technicians i'm tad and i'll keep you cool if you let me